questions, pop them in the chat. I did have a question for you. Uh, what content would you like to see in the uh, last month or so of this channel's uh, lifetime? What topics haven't I covered in the 900 or so videos already on this channel? Feel free to tell me your suggestions in either the comments field or the chat field. I'm okay with either. I know that uh, one individual asked me to do a video on how to write a, a punctuated name or how to how to correctly write correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, uh, abbreviations. And I can understand why someone would ask that simply because when you look at Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller and Colin Russell Hyphen J. Colin Gould's use of the abbreviation, it doesn't add up to <laughs> correct sentence structure. It doesn't, the abbreviate, the way that they convey the abbreviation of their name, of their names, does not reflect the rules of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Whether they're aware of that, I don't know. I, I don't know if they are or they aren't. But that's an idea, and I probably do do one on that, which is a very good suggestion. Does anyone else have any more suggestions about something that maybe I haven't covered? Maybe a little minuscule detail that you'd like me to focus on or talk about. I'd be more than happy to see what I can do about putting videos out for closure because although we have been climbing in subscribers to this channel I mean I've gotten I don't know like 15 or 20 or so new subscribers in the last few days getting to 6,000 by January 1st 2024 seems like a huge challenge and I personally, you know, I'm a positive thinker. I, I'm not a pessimist by any means, but I'm also a realist. I just don't see it happening. So as I've said before, if we don't get that 6,000 sub count by January 1st, 2024, then I'm gonna, I'm shutting this channel down. Not, I mean, I'm not shutting it down. I'm shutting down my participation with it. I'm not going to put any new content on here. I'm going to leave what's here up for posterity, but I'm going to move on to other things in my life and uh, not invest now space in this YouTube channel. It's like having a garden and you water the garden, you do everything that possibly within your, your wheelhouse to cultivate that garden and get it to grow. And then the garden gets so far and then it stops progressing and it stays stagnant for a while with no sign of growth. I mean, what do you do? You gotta know when to say when, I suppose. So that's, that's the position I'm in, basically. Hi, Jason, I hope you continue this channel. I would, however, be happy to continue the participation in other platforms. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing, AAAA, is that I don't know if I'm going to be doing other platforms. I mean, I haven't really tapped the full potential of TikTok yet. So there's that to explore. I'm still trying to figure that out, like how to how to monetize that and get that to uh, fall into the rule one, rule equal and see how that goes. So there's that, you know, that that's a possibility. However, that's the last possibility. My vision is probably, you know, if this doesn't work out, to just vacate my internet presence entirely. But the workshops are always there for those that are serious about the grammar and are serious about learning and willing to commit and invest what they, you know, put into it, what they need to put into it, rule one, rule equal, to learn this, this valuable material. Um, 
the workshops are always available. Jason Matthew G17 at gmail.com will never be discontinued. So the workshops are always available. I'll always make time to do workshops for people who are serious about this stuff. Any email address. Oh, that's definitely a video I have to do. I had a couple people coming on here asking me about when you write out Jason's email address, do you put the colon, the tilde, and the period at the end? Do you put that in the email address when you're writing out the email address to send an email? I thought that this would be self evident because. I can't think of one email address that I've ever seen that had a colon and a tilde at the beginning or a period at the end. I have never in the thousands of emails I've, I've sent out over the years ever seen that. I thought that would be self-evident to people. However, I guess, you know, I do have to make a video saying that when you are sending me an email, do not put the colon, the tilde, or the full stop at the end in your e in the email address when you're putting it in the addressee box because it won't go through. It's the fiction, folks. The fiction cannot meet fact, so therefore the tilde, the colon, and the period at the end would not be used. It's fiction. The email address is basically a pronoun. But I'll make another video. So that's two video ideas I got. Uh, one for the abbreviation and one for the email. Does anybody have any other ideas about topics that I m may not have covered on this channel so far? Tell me now, because we got less than uh, a month and a half left here. It doesn't necessarily have to be strictly grammar mechanics. It could be something else, like a periphery tar uh, topic. Questions about a live life claim questions about a sea pass sea treaty questions about a fate revolution claim questions about a port authority claim questions about grammar auditor claim or a document contract court authority claim hey you know it could be anything related to this stuff you just have to step up to the plate and ask with this generation out there that, that's out there right now, the, the TikTok generation and all that, I know that's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask of someone to step up, use their correct name, credential themselves, be transparent, be who they are, and communicate on the internet. Because most people just don't want to do that on the internet. They'd rather use a nom de guerre, Because maybe they think someone's out to get them or something. I know that when I first came, when I first uh, used my correct name back in 2017, 2018, quite frankly, I was freaked out about it. I thought that people would come and get me. I thought that I, you know, <laughs> I would be tracked down. But, you know, once I got over my self importance, uh, it wasn't a big deal. It actually made things better to do that. It actually made things better. Respect to all the content, just a humble, Jason, a humble thank you. Well, I return the sentiment back at you. My kuleana to you is a humble 
conveyance of gratitude for your viewership, Donnell. I know you've been here a while. I know you're a longtime viewer, longtime studier, and I wish you well in uh, your endeavors, your navigations, wherever they may take you. If you ever want to hook up for a workshop, my email address is readily available. Just don't use the colon, the tilde, or the full stop at the end when sending the email. Uh, I do have a question about your website. I think I found a small mistake there, but it could be me not having closure. I could I ask the question here? As I said, this is a place for asking questions. If you want to ask a question, ask a question. My son does that a lot. He'll say, Dad, can I ask you a question? I'll be like, bro, just ask the question. Why do you got to, you know, preface it by, can I ask you a question? It's like, to me, it doesn't, I mean, yeah. And ask the question. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's funny, man. There are no shortage of people out there that, are we are so ready to point out a mistake that I make, but they never come on and ask questions like about grammar. And I'm not talking about A A A A here. A A A A is a cool dude. If it is a dude, I don't remember. Sorry if I misgendered you, uh, but that's a cool individual. And I'm not talking about them, but there are other individuals out there who wait with bated breath to see if they can find a mistake even though they themselves do not have closure on the grammar they've never taught the grammar they've never used the grammar but they're like you're missing a hyphen here <laughs> or, you know why is there double space here you misspelled the word blah 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 you know what i mean well that sounds like me going up in south central los angeles oh yeah 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 uh, i was talking about that apartment building yeah there's a prostitute that um i'll finish that story that got stabbed in the middle of the night and then uh she crawled from the back of the apartment complex to the sort of the interior of it and was like banging on doors and screaming I didn't, I didn't wake up for it, but I was there in the morning at like three or four o'clock in the morning when I was leaving for work and I looked and I saw blood, bloody handprints and stuff all over these doors where she was like trying to get someone to help her. By that time, EMS had taken her away, but the, and the cops were still there. It was pretty crazy. I know you don't like it. Ha ha. Well, if you don't, if you know, I don't like it, then why do you do it? Are you trying to piss me off? <laughs> oh, bro. Somewhere in the lower part of a particular page on your website where you name David Wynn Miller, the mistake I think I saw is where you have the degree symbol and the wind followed by space colon. Well, a a a a you would have to tell me exactly where it is i'm not going to go looking for it so if you got a screenshot you can email it to me if you have a link i'd appreciate that a lot of times with the font of whatever type set i'm using it may look like there's a space there but there probably isn't i'd have to guess that there isn't because that would show up in my spell check but there's always a chance that it didn't um doesn't the colon need to be tied up against the wind or is the degree symbol not filling up the character space resulting in me thinking it's a mistake? Well, first I have to see it. I can't say anything about it until I see the evidence. I mean, I know you're an upstanding individual, but I'm not just going to take your word for it. You got to send me a screenshot or send me a link to the page. And then we can talk about it. Yes, I will do that. I am not in the position now to provide the continued to the evidence. Thanks for the answer. I will email you on this one. Cool. Cool. So when I look at documents, I, I try to use the balance of the honor and the grace. I'm not picking out, like, I'm not nitpicking 
a misspelling. I'm not nitpicking uh, what's obviously a typo and things like that. I'm looking for consistency of errors. If I see an error consistently repeated, for example, people that will start a sentence, if they're using colons, they're using the shorthand, they will put a colon space and then their name or colon space and then the fact. That's a consistent error. That's avoidance of the knowledge. I look for things like that or consistent misuse of incorrect positionals or incorrect concatenation. I'm looking for patterns and things like that as, as an auditor. It's easy to forgive typos because everybody makes mistakes. I don't care who you are, how many hyphens and colons you have in your name. You make mistakes, whether you admit them or not. I admit them all the time on this channel. I just admitted one, uh, a syntaxing error I made in a, in a live stream on TikTok, and I did a correction video. That's where the humility comes in. And there are definitely folks out there that uh, appear to be bolstering their image in this sector by never, ever admitting their mistakes. But at the same time, disqualifying, slandering, and bad-mouthing other folks around them, which is a blatant violation of rule one, rule equal. Thank you. Do you take care as well? Again, I'll reiterate, if anyone has any grammar questions or any question at all about anything related to correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, feel free to pop them in the chat. Uh, the main idea is if you have any topics you'd like me to cover, in the next month before I shut this channel down, let me know. You can email me, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com with your ideas. You can put them in the chat. You can put them in the comments field. I'll see them. Just let me know. And I'll try to put out the videos that you want, that you're requesting. My gift to you. Don't be afraid to speak up. So far, it's interesting. So far, I only see one person out there using anything close to their correct name, and that was Donnell. Everyone else is a nom de guerre. Interesting stats. Even though you are shutting down this channel, will you keep the content? Well, yeah, of course. Everything's up for uh, posterity, including the members section. You know, now that I think about it, what I'll probably do, and this makes more sense, what I will probably do is keep creating content from time to time, but only for the members. Only for the members section. So that way, you know, they they're even though... I feel like their contributions are for the 900 videos that are already here. I'll keep having, you know, a little bit of fresh content for the members to make, you know, psychologically maybe feel like to them it's worth their while to keep their membership. Because any donation or gift is, I'm grateful for it because it helps keep food on the table and a roof over my head. It's the whole reason why I'm vacating the, the YouTube channel is because it's not giving back what I'm putting into it. Like for live streams like this, people don't send gifts. People don't 
hit that little dollar sign in the corner of the chat box and you know send five bucks like there's a guy Andrew that I know he's a really good friend like if he's on here he'll send five bucks he'll say get some coffee man or something and I appreciate that that means so much to me people that think enough of my content to do that but that the point is this what I'm putting into it I'm not getting out of it so that's why but I will probably continue the uh, I will probably continue the members section so that the members can keep their memberships active and they'll still keep, be getting content it will be also more specialized content by the way so that, that's an idea that uh, just popped into my head and it sounds like a logical idea to me Are you still going to do a book or written course one could purchase and sell the same work of exercise and only do the work once? And you could sell the same work of exercises and only do the work once. Well, yeah, I'm still working on a book, but as I said in, uh, when I mentioned it before, it probably that book won't be done for another five to ten years. Based upon how correct it has to be based upon the fact that I have to translate it into plain, simple English. And there can be absolutely, positively, unequivocally, no mistakes in it. So that's something I'm doing on my own time. I mean, if you or anyone else wants to fund me to do this so that I can feed my family and pay my rent, you know, so to speak, not that I rent, but um, cool contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and we'll get this book knocked out in a month if you could do that if i could spend 12 hours a day writing this book with no worries financially hey i'll do that but i don't see that happening and uh so that's why it won't be out for another five to ten years i mean look at david Wood miller's book look at the presentation of the book he charged 200 bucks for that book and look at it it's got corrections all over it, stuff crossed out, handwritten stuff in the margins, not to mention spelling errors, grammatical errors, punctuation errors, all kinds of errors all over that book. It's, it's like, and I'm sure he spent, you know, hundreds of hours writing that book, but still, look at it. I don't want my book to be like that. My book is going to be perfect, as perfect as I can get it. And if it takes me a lifetime to get it out, then that's what it is. If it doesn't get out in this lifetime, then that is, that's what it is also. Everything happens for a reason. All right. So in hindsight, if you're watching this, uh, listening to this video after it's streamed and you have a suggestion for a video that you'd like me to do, leave it in the comments field and I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you very much. Hey, 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 I appreciate the 11. Stuff like that, you know, I really appreciate. And I hope that this sets your mind at ease, hey, 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 what I said about continuing to create members content, members only content on the channel. I'll still do grammar videos, but only in the members section after I shut the channel down. So I hope that eases your mind, seeing as uh, you are a member. You'll still be getting fresh content. But thank you very much for your gift. Much gratitude, much humility, and blessings to you and everything that you do. May the cosmos show you only positive performance conclusions in all of your endeavors. Much gratitude. And those types of things really bolster um, my motivation to do things when I see people giving back. It really does. 
All right, so as I said, if you have any ideas for videos, leave them in the comments field or email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. So you only stick with TikTok. Um, maybe. I haven't decided yet. I haven't fully explored all of the options for monetization on TikTok. I'm still learning that. But after I'm done learning it, if it's worth my while to continue on TikTok, I will. And if I do a live stream on TikTok, I will republish it on my YouTube channel, only it will be in the members only section. So TikTok is a maybe. I just have to figure out how to monetize that or how that works exactly. And if it's worth my time to do that. Happy to give you a small gift. I, how you continue this channel. Thanks is all mine. All right, much humility. Thank you very much. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.